In this video, you'll learn how simple it is to automatically animate an object along a custom motion path. I will use this stroke path that I've created with the pen tool as a route on the map for the yellow car. The path is customizable and you will also be able to edit it even after we turn it into a motion path. Now, select the car using the transform tool from this menu right here or simply press V on your keyboard. Click on the car and all you have to do is to go right here in the right panel and click this button, Set Motion Path. As it says here in the panel, the next step will be to select an object to set it as a motion path. So simply click on the path. Notice how the nodes change their shape and now they look like keyframes, which will also appear here in the timeline. All that's left now is to specify the timing for the animation. There's the start, set to zero, right where the playhead is the end time, which is at second three by default, and the duration, which is defined by the seconds between the start and the end time, in this case, three seconds. The timeline is extended to 10 seconds, but I want this animation to last only nine seconds. So I'll change the ending time to nine seconds. Now just click done. All the keyframes from the path are now in our timeline. Let's just hit play and see the result. The car is now following the path, but not as expected. Its position seems all wrong. Luckily, there's a super quick way to make it auto-orient along the motion path. Just go here next to the rotation properties and click on this icon. Now, simply rotate the car to face the right direction on the path by holding and dragging one of those small circles in the corner of the bounding box. You'll see how the car will rotate properly at every turn along the motion path. Let's hit play. The car is now auto-orienting all the way along the path without the need to manually adjust the rotation for each turn. However, there are some time adjustments I'd like to make here. I want to make the car slow down a little while turning to make the animation look more natural. Let's focus on the first turn, the motion path segment here, between these two keyframes. By selecting them from the stage, they will also highlight in the timeline. All I need to do is to increase the distance between them. By doing so, I'm actually adding more milliseconds to the transition between those two keyframes. I'll do the same for all other turns. This will make the car move slower on those specific time segments. Let's hit play and see how it goes. There you go. Notice how the car is slowing down right on the curved motion path segment where the road turns. Of course, you can make more adjustments on the timing. The bigger the distance between the keyframes, the longer it takes for the car to turn. So that's basically it. It is this simple to create and adjust a custom motion path for any object in your animation. 